Good morning, Central. My name is Logan Hobbs. Note to the editors, I want you playing like Loon Bloon or Moon Grain. I'm feeling PVZ tonight. Uh, attention all Central students, the BSU is hosting movie night tomorrow, Tuesday. You can buy the tickets for $5 for Mrs. Carter or buy the night of. They include popcorn and a drink, but may I warn you that they are selling out fast and there is only limited ceiling, seating. Now for sophomores, your dance is on March 28th. That's this week. The tickets are available on my school bucks. Get in fast. That's all, Central. Good morning, Central. This is the Sports Misters. On Monday, girls JV lacrosse will take on Freeport at Fireman's Field. Boys varsity lacrosse will take on Great Neck South at Fireman's Field. Girls JV softball will take on Hempstead at Fireman's Field. And boys varsity track and field will be at Hicksville High School. Yeah! On Tuesday, boys baseball will be at Fireman's Field versus Farmingdale. Girls softball will be home at Fireman's Field. Girls JV flag football will be home at Memorial. And on Tuesday, girls track and field will be at Hicksville. <laughs> on Thursday, JV baseball will be home. On Thursday, varsity lacrosse will be at Memorial. And on Saturday, the girls varsity flag football team will be home at 11 a.m. at Valley Stream Memorial Junior High School. Go Eagles! Good morning, Eagles. My name's Ethan. My name's Vicky. And we're giving you this week's weather. So Monday is going to be sunny with lows in the 30s and highs in the 50s. Tuesday is going to be partly cloudy with lows in the 30s and high in the 50s again. Wednesday is a chance of rain with lows in the 40s and highs in the 50s. Thursday is a chance of rain with the lows in the 40s and highs in the 50s. Friday is a chance of rain with lows in the 30s and highs in the 50s. Bye. Goodbye. That's George, Logan, what else do you want? Logan, I don't know what you want. <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddie and I'm here with Coach Sharkey. Uh, Sharky, what do you? What are your expectations this season for your softball team? Um, going into the season, we have very high expectations. We have um, a lot of up and coming young talent on this team. Um, we have two varsity eighth graders coming up, and mixed along with um, some veteran talent, I really have uh, high expectations for the year coming in. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Freddie. Who am I here with today? Izzy. Izzy, uh, what do you think about this year's softball team? We're pretty good, actually. Um, do you guys think you guys make it far in like playoffs and stuff like that? I have high hopes that we're going to make it in playoffs. What do you think about the coaching staff? It's actually one of the best coaching staffs in Central, I would say. And I think that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Freddie. Who am I here with today? I'm Coach Brick. I'm the JV softball coach. Uh, what are your expectations for this season? Um, I think it's to teach some new skills and to have a little fun while doing it. Okay, thank you. No problem. Hey guys, so last week, Central High School was in News 12. So let's take a look at what they said about our school. Well, an Olympic gold medalist is getting real tonight with young female athletes about mental health. Swimmer Samantha Arsenal Livingstone spoke at Valley Stream Central Junior High School today. She talked about how stigmas for female athletes can affect young women's mental health. One piece of that is the cultural norms and the pressure we face as women, young women, and the ways in which that collides with our sports of being strong, muscular, powerful, to be great at our sports. So like, how do we wrestle with those kinds of things in a way that's healthy? Livingstone is a certified instructor of mental health and first aid. She tells us she specializes in working with teenage athletes. And here's some career day highlights. I got officially hired and I left my job at Wendy's. Wasn't happy. It's 
tough guy doesn't always get things solved. Like you can be talking way out of things that you didn't know could have been a problem. Those are like are so key because it can not finish. <laughs> right? Not finish. You gotta get it done. So even you guys here in 10th grade when you graduate, still not finished. Right? You gotta keep that, you gotta keep attacking that. Keep feeding that. And I think that's uh, something I guess I learned later on in life. You know, I, I had a boomer parent, I was like, work, 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 you gotta do it, you gotta do long hours, and I did it, right? Um, and I was miserable. Hey, my name is Bianca Escobar, here with ETV today, interviewing the Crochet Club. So, who are we here with today? Olivia. What is your role in the Crochet Club and what do you guys have coming up? Um, I'm president of Crochet Club. I founded the club this year, thanks to Miss Huji, and we are planning to do a couple more sales throughout the year. You may have saw us at the tea, um, maybe around Easter, maybe for St. Patrick's Day, if we can get some stuff running. Um, right now, we're working on a big project using granny squares, and if you don't know what that is, join the club. Um, other than that, we're just trying to have fun and have a good atmosphere for everyone who's here. That's amazing, and what is your favorite part of Crochet Club? Um, I love all the people who we found who has common interests with us, and it's a very nice atmosphere to just like talk, de-stress, and be a little crafty and creative. Okay, and today we are here with... Erica. So I see you have this beautiful crochet blanket wrapped around you. Can you can you tell me a little bit on what inspires you and what you like about crocheting? Um, what inspires me is I get to make blankets for like loved ones, as like family or like friends, and I also wear like I also help around with like kids who need help with stitches or certain like projects. Okay, and what has been your favorite fundraiser so far? Um, it's probably helping Miss Bowen to help uh, help with the hearts for Valentine's Day and helping out with snacks too because it was me and her at the time it was the last for a break. Lovely. Can Could we see like one little shot of the blanket one more time? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so who are we here with today? Anna. Nevaeh. So what was it that made you start crocheting? My mother taught me when I was young. I want to say maybe seven, eight and I've picked it up since then. How about you? Well, I recently joined the club this year, and ever since I started crocheting, I loved it. So it's been a good experience for me. And, and what is your favorite thing to crochet? Stars. I'm currently doing one now. It's two quarter, three quarters of three fifths. Three fifths is the way done. <laughs> um, my favorite thing to crochet is hearts because, like, I just think they're like so cute, especially the smaller ones that I like to make. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey everyone, it would be nice for you to join our crochet club. We meet every other Monday from 4.30 to 5.30 in room 109. Wait, 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 wait. Join crochet club. Join crochet club. You need to. It's actually a lot of fun here. Crochet. Crochet. Ah! <laughs> now this is story all about how my life got switched upside down. And I like to take a minute and sit right there and tell about the crits of town baller. Get